Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yashita and I make content regarding books. So if you're interested in reading or if you want to get into reading, then this might be the channel for you to subscribe. All right, let's talk about today's video because it is a very exciting video as all my videos are, by the way. So yes, let's talk about this book, shall we? Because we are going to read this book together. It is the third and final installment in the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. It is as good as dead. And I loved the first book, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Second book I liked, which was Good Girl, Bad Blood. And this is the third book. I am so excited to be done with the series to see what the hype is about because this is probably people's best book. It broke them and I am so excited to get shattered myself. I know I'm recording this intro after I've read this book. It is because I didn't originally plan on starting a reading vlog, but when I started this book, I thought I wanted to record my thoughts. So that is why. So let's see if this book is actually better than the first two books in the series or it takes a downward turn. I am excited to see that as well with you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna record all of my thoughts and reactions. I hope you guys are excited, whether you are just watching this video for the fun of it, or you've read it, or you are reading it with me. Without any further ado, let's get started with today's video because there is so much in store for you so i've been reading as good as dead by holly jackson and i am currently on page 110 and i feel like a lot has happened but still nothing has happened we aren't reaching anywhere so it's kind of not entertaining at this point because i'm just reading it to get to a point where i would actually want to continue reading it but i am just not getting the vibes from this one i know like we have seen a lot of description of uh, trauma that pip is going through because of what happened in book two but it's like quite dragged out for me to enjoy this book because at 110 page i could have done a lot all the things that have happened till now could have been written in 20 or 30 pages so i think it's like taking it quite slow because it is a 560 page book i think 560 plus so it's just a lot of drag so i'm not liking that but like the writing is super easy to read which we already know by now so i'm like moving through it quickly but still like the pacing of the story actual story is quite slow for my liking hey guys so you remember when i told you that this was not doing it for me and i was not into the story well forget about it because this has gotten so engaging and so good i am just not able to stop myself from reading this book and i might as well finish it till tomorrow which i don't even have to try that hard because i myself can't stop reading this book and i have to know things like the dt killer concept has me on edge so let's see how that goes <music> Oh hey, we are talking about this book again. I finished it a while ago, but here are all my thoughts because I just couldn't like talk to you guys throughout, but I have collected my thoughts in my head that uh, goes from series to series. So I'm gonna talk about them. First of all, like it was so dumb to get in contact with a person who was linked to a person you are trying to find. And also like people running into woods and you know doing shit that is clearly stupid but 
authors don't just stop doing writing that because it's obviously escalating the story further that's dumb and smart both so another thing was that the person wasn't a surprise to me but getting to that conclusion was actually really nice you saw my reaction how i enjoyed like figuring out stuff because it was so exciting and also i loved how the part one ended like it was so good so amazing well done pip and part two like beginning i was thinking that there is this other justice that you are not thinking about but that came around fine at last so i'm okay with that all in all i think i like the multi-dimensional feel of this book because it doesn't just involve solving a case but it has so many things that could go either way that you are just so into the story and you are just throwing this book or crying or happy with it and everything like every emotion i could feel i didn't cry but i felt teary eyed i was just so emotional at one point and i was happy for pip i was sad for her i was angry at her every re reaction imaginable that you could have seen on my face reading this book so i actually really enjoyed that thing about it as i was saying before like there were so many different dimensions to this book and there were so many things that could have gone differently so you were very excited and scared at the same time and that all like coming to the ending made all worth it because the ending was something if it could have gone another way then i would not have liked this book like if you are building so much hype and by step and step you are leading us towards so many twists you gotta give us a good ending so i think the end was worth it and you're gonna feel rewarded after so much uh, longer of just anticipating or going through twists so i think that was good and uh, the part two like there is part one which i think ended perfectly the part two i think the main thing was kind of conflicting because it doesn't agree with your conscious but then you kind of feel like it is just so you just feel okay with it so i just overall really like this book i really like the format of this book it felt like a personal story than just solving a case so that was great i i'm sorry if i'm all over the place right now but i just have so many emotions because i finished this book earlier today so now is the time for rating which right now i think i'm gonna give it a 4.25 if i do change it then i'm gonna mention it somewhere but i think that is perfect that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed this reading vlog i know i was so poor at you know updating you guys but i still like went through everything right now so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed watching my reactions my review my thoughts on this book let me know what other book you want me to read i will review it so i am so happy that this series is over i still have a prequel to read but i don't think i'm gonna read it just yet or ever because i think people don't like it as much as the series so i don't really see the point but maybe someday so yeah this was the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it all right i'll see you guys in my next video until then goodbye and yeah i am just so excited to read i just said that loved previous two books i loved first book a good girl's guide to mother i mother <laughs> liked the second book as good as that no sorry this is this oh my god i love the first book i I love the first book a good guide I love the first book a good girl's guide to murder I liked the second book good girl bad blood and I don't know how I'm going to feel about this <laughs>